Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Kisha Koo here. I'm so excited. If I have any returning subscribers, um, please put a like in the, the button. I'm so happy that I'm getting more subscribers. And also leave a comment section down below if you have any ideas on anyone else you would like for me to do a doc series on. Um, we're going to go ahead and start off with the great and the fabulous and the oh the most the be most beautiful soul and performer Liberace. I was born in 1982. I remember him vaguely as a child. Did not know who he was at that time. The performance. I just remember watching him on TV and just being just wooed by him. You know, as a as a little girl. Um, I do remember the stories growing up of him and from my grandparents. So we're just going to go ahead. We're not going to go into a rant, but we're just going to go ahead and go and get into the doc series. And um, if you are new, uh, before we get into it, if you can subscribe to my channel and press the like button, that will help me out for my channel to grow. Um, I'm a new YouTuber, and I'm just now getting started doing this, and thank you so much for helping me on this journey, and let's go ahead and get into it. The Tragic Real Life Story of Liberace. December 8, 2020. The first name in the showman's silk for a half a century, Liberace defined glitz and glamour, a piano prodigy, who abandoned the formalism of the concert hall for over the top theatrical Liberace more than made up for his shortcomings as a musician with his unparalleled skills as an entertainer. Decked out with white fur coats with a 16 foot train behind his shimmering grand piano, Liberace made Vegas era Elvis Presley look like a pauper. On stage, Liber Liberace oozed charisma and created an intimate report, report with his fans that believed his flashy stage clothes and style, although he dressed in rhinestone, encrusted capes was that he wore to his concerts and the Royce, the Royce, Royce that made his appetite for luxury a constant push line in his stage banner. Liberace in his public life never exuded the aloof attitude typically of so many celebrities. To his millions of devotees he was far more than a musical idol. Liberace was a star of the people who brought culture, ap appetite, and filtered through his own unique own unique style and quirks and com then to the com to the common folk however when the stage lights dimmed and the curtain closed Liberace was a man at war with himself Liberace fought endlessly to preserve his privacy in an era of rampant from homophobia and intolerance Fearing the loss of his predominantly female fan base, he created an illusion which ultimately only he believed in the end. Liberace's facade came crashing down as his death laid bare than his most intimate secrets. This is the tragic life story of Liberace. Liberace's childhood was marked with poverty and sickness. On May 16, 1919, in West Allis, Wisconsin, in a suburban Milwaukee, Liberace, known as Walter, to his family, was the third of four children. One of the pair of identical twins, Liberace's brother, died at birth. The son of an immigrant's parents, Liberace, was Italian, Polish, Descended his Italian father, Salvatore Liberace, came from a fishing village near Nap Naples. A professional musician, Salvatore, instilled a love for music in his son. Liberace's mother, Frances Zuhaskia, 
y'all if, if anyone is older than me and i'm pronouncing the last name wrong i did not mean it uh, to be disrespectful i'm just trying to pronounce it the best way i know how so so please you know know that Liberace held from poland a, a poland and had been a concert piano before marriage Liberace's father had been a concert a concert performer before marriage. Despite her musical background, Frances discouraged, I guess, I'm sorry, let me recorrect this. Liberace held from Poland and had been a concert piano before marriage. Despite her, her musical background, Frances discouraged her children in pursuit of music lessons as an intervagance to an expensive for the cash-strapped family. As documented in Darden Asbury's Pyron's 2000 biography, Liberace and All-America Boy, Liberace's parents fought constantly about their finances. But Frances' main complaint was over the expense of music. Frances bitterly gross bitterly about the spending money on luxurious music luxurious music lessons power and rights according to the author Frances felt her children would be better served in life by learning a practical trade like the family's struggling grocery business nevertheless the theatrical saboteur single-minded insistence on his children becoming a professional musicians won out a fragile child young Liberace was plagued with bouts of pneumonia and his mounting medical bills worsened the family's precarious financial situation despite his illness Liberace's talents manifested at the age of four he was already picking out popular tunes on his piano by the the age of seven. He could play, I, I guess I'm pronouncing this right, Melisande's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Liberace faced a over, overbearing parents and, a, and child bullies. Young Walter Liberace always knew he was different from his classmates, especially the boys in his neighborhood. A fat, fast, fat, I, I, I'm just gonna have to say it the way I know. The fatuous child, he disliked sports, outdoor activities. It wasn't that I had anything against the games Liberace wrote in his 1973 autobiography it was just that you got dirty play, playing them it, it alienated him from his peers Liberace turned to domestic pursuits such as cooking and sewing on his way to school children would taunted him with shouts of mommy's boy and sissy when Liberace began having crushes on his male teachers at the age of 10, he became racked with guilt and began questioning his sanity. Liberace's father was a proud man whose devotion to music and self-image as a professional musician conflicted with the financial realities of his home. Re relegated to the factory work, he considered beneath he was considered beneath him he took his frustrations out on his family to his embarrassment his wife Frances Liberace ran a small grocery out of their home to make ends meet Liberace learned to walk a fine line between blind to keep both his artistic father and practical mother happy later in life Liberace would find himself in a strange from his father who bailed balked at his son's embrace for popular music over the classics although Francis would be a 
constant in his life until the death in 1980. The pianist privately resented her clinging, clinging nature as completely suffocating and damn near, damn near uh, smothering. When she passed away at 90, Liberace's remarked to his assistant partner, Scott Thorson, that he would, was finally free. Liberace's parents disapproved of his work in nightclubs. For music in the er, early in his life, before the age of 10, he could perform complex classical pieces and popular songs by ear. Liberace's first musical idol was the piano Bertusso Lugnasi. Uh, P Peter Whiskey performing over Peter Whiskey's recordings. Eight years old, Liberace studied the musicians' interpretations until he came to escute them flawlessly. As Liberace grew older, he discovered that his musical ability was a way to gain acceptance among his peers as detailed. Liberace, The True Story by Bob Thomas. The once alienated Liberace was constantly invited to living up birthday parties with the latest tunes. The prodigy was even allowed to leave grammar school early in life, early in the afternoon, to play it at the high school dances. Classical studies and radicals and competitions ruled 14 uh, 14-year-old Liberace's days. His nights belonged to ragtime and honky-tonk musician, which he played in M Milwaukee, roadhouses, and bars. Hiding his lucrative night job from his parents, he would explain that he and his band were playing at church and socials. I don't mean to laugh, but he was a man all playing at playing at church and socials. When Francis Salvador Liberace discovered what their underage son was really doing, they were livid. Caught up in a police raid of a man's organization party that included stage films in a stripper. I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. And it, it, insist, insist Salvador picked up his son at the police station and saying to him that he could no longer play at such an unsavory venues. Nevertheless, he relented when he saw how much money his son was making. <laughs> By the age of 16, Liberace's family's main breadwinner. So we're going to go ahead and stop here. This is going to be on our first part of the doc series on Liberace. And it is going to be a long one. It's probably going to be a five-part doc series. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start here. So I will upload the next part uh, tomorrow morning. So everyone uh, look for that. And I hope everyone enjoyed the first part of the doc series of Liberace. So this is going to be a deep dive series, so we're going to take it at parts at a time. And um, I hope that everyone enjoys this because we're going to go from the beginning all the way to the very end of the great and the most beautiful soul, Liberace. And I enjoy doing this kind of content. content. If you really enjoy all this kind of content, it will really help, uh, really help me to want to, you know, really go deeper into uh, deeper dives. And um, please be patient with me. Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. And thank you, my babies. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I'll see you in the next video. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Kisha Koo here. I'm so excited. If I have any returning subscribers, um, please put a like in the, the button. I'm so happy that I'm getting more subscribers and also leave a comment section down below if you have any ideas on anyone else you would like for me to do a doc series on. Um, we're going to go ahead and start off with the great and the fabulous and the 
Oh, the most, the most beautiful soul and performer, Liberace. I was born in 1982. I remember him vaguely as a child. Did not know who he was at that time. The performance. I just remember watching him on TV and just being just wooed by him, you know, as a, as a little girl. Um, I do remember the stories growing up of him and from my grandparents. So we're just going to go ahead. We're not going to go into a rant but we're just going to go ahead and go and get into the doc series and um if you are new uh, before we get into it if you can subscribe to my channel and press the like button that will help me out for my channel to grow um, i'm a new youtuber and I'm